tubuhku. Haleluya. Haleluya, haleluya, haleluya. Amen. Amen. Haleluya. Hello everyone. Blessed Sunday. Blessed last Sunday of September to all of us. And welcome to the Powerhouse Hour where we create a soaking room experience by guiding, guiding together by faith every Sunday between the hours of 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern time to worship and adore and live the name of Yeshua above every other name in a non-religious, non-traditional and unconventional manner. As we lift his name high, he promised to draw souls from the four corners of the world to himself. And in the process, grant us gifts that we have not asked for, gifts that only Christ himself could give to us. So if you're joining us for the first time, we are non-titled citizens of heaven that are in conscious partnership with God on a great commission of winning souls, according to Matthew 28, 19 to 20, that says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of age. So our sole purpose at PHH is to win souls. And this is based on the word that the Lord himself gave to us in John 15, 16, in the Amplified Version. You have not chosen me, but I, I have chosen you, and I have appointed and placed and purposely planted you so that you will go and bear fruit and keep on bearing and that your fruit will remain and be lasting so that whatever you ask in the name of the Father as my representative, he may give to you. So we're here every week beckoning to our sisters and our brothers to come to Christ, sharing the love of God and extending the gift of salvation to all, every nation touched, every heart changed and none left behind and to be iron sharpening other irons around us. So I want to ask you to please like, subscribe and share. Help us to share our so many broadcasts to reach the four corners of the world as we go into the hour, there's going to be a time when you'll be invited to receive the gift of salvation. Please open up your hearts to receive Christ. Surrender your life to him and let him enter and do what only he can do in our lives. This afternoon, our theme is igniting the flame within to embrace our higher calling in Jesus mighty name amen hallelujah thank you papa when i think of the goodness of jesus and all he has done for me my very soul shall shout, Hallelujah! Praise God for saving me. When I think, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. And all he has done for me, my very soul shall shout, Hallelujah! 
praise God for saving me. When I think, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my very soul shall shout, Hallelujah. Praise God for saving me. You are who you are yesterday. Today and forevermore. What to say is what you do. You never fail, you never change. You are faithful to the end. Faithful God, I worship you. I worship you. You're too faithful to fail me. Ala bocheta ye kere masa. Hey papa, you're too faithful to disappoint me. You're proving yourself in my life, and I've come to realize. You're too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to fail me, Jehovah. You are too faithful to fail us. You've proven yourselves in our lives, and we've come to realize. You are too faithful to fail all. Mighty, mighty God, we worship you today. We give you all the praise as we lift our hands to you. We bless you in our hearts. We raise a voice to say everything we think about you is great. You are great. You are great. You are great. Yes, you are. You are great. Mesaya, you are great. You are great. Everything within about you is great. You are Yahweh. Oh, Papa, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega, you are, you are, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, oh Jehovah, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Papa, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega, you are, you are, you are. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. I worship you today, Lord. 
I gave you all the praise as I lift my hands to you. We pleasure in my heart. I leave my voice to say everything that's written about you is great. Hallelujah. Everything we think about you is great. Jehovah, our Father, everything we think about you is great. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, my Father, my Father, my Abba. Yes, you are Yahweh. Jehovah Elohim. Jehovah Roy, the one that sees me. The one that saved me, you are Yahweh. Who loves me? The one that loves me. The one that never leaves, nor forsake me, you are Yahweh. Because you're too loving and too caring to let go of me. You are my shepherd, Lord. The one that left 99 to come after me. Of course, you are Yahweh. You are Emmanuel. The one that is always with me, that never leaves, nor forsake me. Papa, you are for me. You are beside me. You are a covenant living, giving, keeping God. You are truthful to your word. You never fail. You never relent. You are beside everyone, Father, Lord God. You are my friend, my rock, my shield, my armor, and my hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I worship you, Jesus. Majesty, worship his majesty, unto Jesus be your glory, honor and praise. Oh, majesty, kingdom authority, flow for me strong unto his own. Is I so and so lift up on the name of Jesus, magnify. Come glorify Christ Jesus as King. Oh, majesty. Kingdom of all it is. Lord, for me strong unto his own is untamed with so exalt, so exalt, lift up on high the name of Jesus magnify, magnify, come glorify Christ Jesus the King. Oh, my. Majesty, in the mortal, we 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. You are Yahweh. You are my king, my priest. You are sovereign. You are royalty. The governor general of the whole wide world. The lion and the lamb. You are the fourth man in the furnace. El Shaddai God. I don't deny you are my maker, my creator, my help, my helper, the helper of the helpless, my help from ages past, my Ebenezer, my Lord changer, my protocol rearranger, my backup, my supporter. You are the ocean divider, mana provider. Hi, hi, hi. The one that brought water out of the rock, a miracle working God. The God of awestruck wonder. Yours is the power, dominion, and majesty. This hour, Lord, I join the 24 elders of heaven to worship you, to worship at your feet, to adore and cry, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was who is and is to come. Hosanna in the highest. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The elders and angels bow. We that we did, we worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The elders and angels bow. We the redeemed, we worship you now. Holy, 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 Lord, holy are you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the King of glory, hallelujah to the Most High God, hallelujah to the El Shaddai God, the one who is ever faithful, the most powerful God, the only wise God, the God that commands the storm to stand still, my keeper, my guide, my God, my deliverer, my savior, the God of freedom, the God who forgives, the God who loves, the Lord who delivers from the bondage of sin, the one who pays the price for my sin and for all of our sin, the restorated one, my comforter, the God who answer, whosoever call on him, it's because he answers prayer. That's why all men call something. And he can hear each and every one of us, the billions of people on this earth, whenever you call on him. The God that answered by fire, the creator of heaven and the earth, 
the first among all things in the universe, the first among all equal, the one that is above every other one, he who made the heavens and the earth by his own fingers, the Lord who established the path on the waters, the God that says, let there be light, and there was light. He who knoweth all things, hallelujah, the all-knowing God, the God that holds the universe in his own hands, hallelujah, glory be to your holy name. He who made the heart is supposed to and seated in heaven. He who brings confusion among the enemy, the one that throws the bar of Babel into confusion, is spread out across the earth. The great I am, the great here that hears all over the world. Glory be to your holy name. You are my support. You are my merciful God. You are my lover. You are my creator. You are the prince of peace. You are the gracious Lord. You are the God of love. You are the one that brings me joy. You are my comforter. You are the blessed God. Glory be to your holy name. You are a miracle walking God. You are a wonder walking God. You are a wonderful God. You are the great I am. Holy, holy, holy is your name, O Lord. Holy, holy, holy God Almighty. The heaven and the earth rejoice and they worship you. You are the righteous God. You are the truthful God. You are the truthful God. You are the immaculate God. You are the greatest God. You are the glorious God. You are the I am that I am. I worship you and I bow down before you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The balm of Gilead, that is who he is, is unquenchable fire, is unquenchable God, is all many potent, is all many science, is the consuming fire, is the bishop of my soul, is the firstborn, is the living water, is fearful in praises. Who is this person? He is God, he is glorious in holiness, he is almighty God, he is my advocate, he is unchangeable changer, he is my strong tower, he is my banner, he is my buckler, he is my fortress. Who is this, my loving God? He is my restorer. Is my teacher, is my instructor, is my comforter, is my redeemer, is my defender, is my shield, is my pillar, is my helper, he is my light. Who is he again? He is greater than the greatest, he is mightier than the mightiest, he is the powerful God, he is excellent God, he is internal God, he is ageless God. Is ancient of days. He is the way, he is the truth and the life. He is the lamp of God. He is the lion of Judah. He is the lily of the valley. He is the rose of Sharon. He is the Lord of lords. And hallelujah, he is the king of kings. Father, I just bless the Lord. I just worship you because indeed you are faithful to your word. Indeed, you're so wonderful. No one can describe you. You're indescribable, but you are loving. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you be all the glory. Hallelujah to our God. Jesus, thank you. So God, so what a glorious God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Hallowed be your name, O God, God of awesome wonders. We worship you. I am Oshetakai, Sitebo Santi. Hallelujah. Thank you, Papa. You call me out upon the waters, the great unknown, where faith may fail. And there I find you in the mystery, in oceans deep. My faith will stand. 
My souls be rest in your embrace. I am yours. You are mine. Your grace abounds in deepest waters. Your sovereign hands will be my guide. Where feet may fail and fear surrounds me. You've never failed, and you won't start now. Hey, Lord, I will call upon your name and keep my eyes above the waves. When oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace. I am yours, and you are mine. And you are mine. Spirit, lead me where my trust is with the borders. Let me walk upon the waters. Wherever you will call me, take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith we will make stronger in the presence of my Savior. Let me walk upon the waters, wherever you will call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. I will call upon your name and keep my eyes above the waves when oceans rise. My soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, Father, you are mine, you are mine. I want more of you, Jesus. I want more of you. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus, more of you. I want more of you, Abba Father. I want more of you, Jehovah. The more I know you, Lord. The more I just want to know you more, Jesus, more of you, Jesus, we want more of you, oh Jesus, we want more of you, Father, we need more of you in our lives to go higher. We need more of you to respond and Father, embrace a higher calling that you may have for us. We want more of your presence in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Today, brethren, as we conclude our theme on higher calling this month, I truly want to encourage each and every one of us to ignite the flame that is within us. As we all utterly embrace whatever it is that the Lord may be calling us to or is calling us to. And you know why? Each one of us, each one, regardless of where we are, how we are, what we are, we carry a unique purpose of Christ a divine spark 
waiting to be unleashed for the greater good of humanity and for the kingdom of God. And I'll just pray and I hope that we will reflect on how we can find these flames within us so that we can reach for the higher calling. So we can shine forth as the Lord has proposed for us to be. Hallelujah. I put together by the grace of God five areas that can help us to embrace a higher calling. As today we're looking at, at igniting the flame that's within us so that we can embrace what God is calling us to. He may have been speaking to you. You may not be paying attention, but I'm open and praying that we listen to that inner call, inner voice, this hour. In the name of Jesus. So to reflect on how we can possibly find the flames that is already inside of us. We need to recognize what our higher calling is before we can even think about embracing. How do you embrace what you don't even know? We must first recognize it. What is the Lord calling you and I to? It may be, it may, it may manifest in the passion that you have. It could be a talent or a gift that the Lord has deposited inside of you. Or it could be that inner whisper guiding you towards a particular path to take. Regardless of whatever it is, we need to reflect. Take time and reflect on what really stirs your soul. What is that thing that you're passionate about and aligns with your values? One value that we have here is to make heaven. What is the value that you are? What is that passion? Number two, unleashing the power of our passion. We just talk about passion. Because this may just be the fuel. In Nigeria, we use kerosene and we use gas in America, right? It may just be that. It may just be the fuel that ignites that flame, flame that is within you. When you are passionate about your calling, as I am passionate about what God has called me to a PhD, to go out there, calling souls to him, bringing men and women, sharing the love that I have with him, sharing the salvation that he has given unto me. As of this moment, that is my passion. Because what he does is he will energize, he, he will energize you to do more, to want to do more. Where you've been doing little, you want to do extra. You want to search forward. You want to move forward. You want to leave behind those things and moving forward. And it will give you strength to overcome any obstacles, any distractions that comes your way. As the psalmist put it in Psalm 37, 4, and he says, delight yourself in the Lord. And it will give you the desires of your heart. What is it that is the desire of your heart? What is your passion that the Lord may use to bring you higher? Embracing our calling is supposed to bring us joy and fulfillment in whatever area. Number three, overcoming doubts and fear. We all live with doubts. We live with fear. We live with different things that are content with our time. And embracing our higher calling, and I'm focusing on so winning for me <clears throat> at PHH. I don't know what that may be for you. It doesn't come without challenges. It doesn't come without you know, distractions. It doesn't come without things that want to contend with our time. So doubts and fears, they may arise. 
questioning even your abilities or the practicality of the path that the Lord has called you to. That was what happened to me when PHH was given to me 2006. I questioned my abilities. Who am I? I'm not a pastor. I'm not a minister. <clears throat> and I have a situation in my life that my even people might look at me and say, ha, who, who, who is she talking to? But be, my father looks beyond all of those. And I just want to remember the words that were given in 2 Timothy chapter 7, verse, chapter 1, sorry, verse 7. 2 Timothy 1. For the Spirit of God gave us, for the Spirit, for the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, does not make us fearful, does not make us passive, but gives us power. It gives us love and self-discipline. So doubts and fear should not be in the way of our embracing whatever God is calling us to. We need to trust in the power within us. That power is already, the moment we give we gave our lives to Christ, even those that have not given their lives to, to Christ, God, he made all things and he said, it is beautiful. And it is, he's not a partial God. So whatever he gives to A, he gives to B. He is the same God. So we need to trust in the power that's within us. And we will not let fear hold us back. Number four, take bold steps to embrace your higher calling. We need boldness, <laughs> like a lion. We must take bold steps, <clears throat> just as God encouraged Joshua in Joshua 1 9. Whenever you are afraid, you can go there. He says, Be strong, be courageous, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. Have faith in your journey, even when it seems uncertain. If I want to go back to what the word that God gave to us at PHH, which was in um, John 15, 16, that was the word he gave to us. That we have not called him. We have not come to him. He was the one that called us to him. He was the one that embraced us. He was the one that said, Yabo, you're going to be in a PHH. You're going to be calling my children to me. And because I know that he is my backing, I cannot be afraid. I have to be bold. Hallelujah. We need to have faith in the journey, even when it seems uncertain. <clears throat> and number five, Serving others. Most of the times we want to be served. When we, are, we want to be served, we can never find our higher calling. It's impossible. It's when we serve others. The Lord releases our higher calling. He tells us, when you do so little, you see you're doing so little. And he says, my servant, you have been faithful in the little that I have given you. But when we're not faithful in the little that he has given us, how can he give us a higher calling? It's impossible. It's a God of principle. A higher calling often involves serving others and making a positive impact on the world or the environment around us. We talked about Paul last week, that through his many challenges, he was able to serve the church and the early Christians. He was able to encourage them. He was able to fear them. He was able to power them. He was able to back them up. First Peter 4.10 says, he reminds us, each of you, Iyabo, Joke, Nike, Ronke, Natalie, Lanre, Shadi, everyone at PHH, he reminds us, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. As faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms, it could be pastoring, it could be administration, it could be soul winning, it could be anything that he has called us 
to as long as he edifies the body of Christ and he lifts people up. We say this word here, iron sharpening iron. Hallelujah. When we embrace our calling with the intention to serve, not the intention to be served, we are able to align with God's divine purpose for each of our lives. Hallelujah. You know, embracing our higher calling is not just a personal journey. Mm -mm. It's more than that. It's a spiritual commitment that, you know, to live out our purpose in service to God and to humanity. And as we recognize our calling, fuel it with our passion, overcome doubts and fears and take bold steps forward, we become a beacon of light and an inspiration in a world that needs our unique gifts. There are many people there that are discouraged, but when they see us, I've had people say things like, I like what you guys are doing, but they don't have the boldness to join, to do. Some are even timid, some are passive, some are afraid, what would they say? That's how we started. How will I speak? My, my, di my dialect, my accent, how do I say it? They will laugh at me, let them laugh. They are not the one that called you. And they were not there. It wasn't a conference call. It's not going to be a conference call when the Lord calls you. I pray this afternoon that we are will be inspired to ignite the flame within us. Because as we do so, that's the only way we can embrace whatever God is calling us to. And to become a source of encouragement and hope for everyone around us. <laughs> Quickly, I want to look at one person in the Bible that encourages us. There was one person through him, whom we are here today. It's because of him that we are here. He embraced a higher calling that brought about salvation to you and I, to every one of us. Christ left his glory behind left the comfort of his kingdom to embrace a higher calling that was to save humanity, to save you and I. Today, we're enjoying. We're able to be here before you. Who am I? Today, we stand as a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, blameless and bl without blemish. All because one man left his kingdom behind. He was born in a manger, suffered at the hands of those people that he came to save. He disregarded shame, disregarded shame, poverty, humiliation, sufferings, loneliness, and even death so that we may be saved for eternity. And his only request is that we, his followers, we share in the goodness, in the story of his goodness, the stories of his salvation, the story of his death, so that his death will not be in vain. This hour, <clears throat> I want to invite two sets of people. The first set are God's children, the ones that he has already saved, to come up higher, come up higher. Let us not just eat the food by ourselves, let us share. Come higher to evangelism into soul winning so that we may populate the kingdom of God and continue to save those that he died for. I don't know if you will accept that call, in the, that call this afternoon. It could be at your church. It could be by yourself. It could be here with us at PHH. It does not matter as, as long as we're there calling men and women to him. When I heard the voice of the Lord, I said, here I am, send me. Here I am, Lord, send me anywhere for you. That was 
what we said when we said yes to PHH. Is Christ able to depend on us as the one that has saved to continue to fulfill this higher calling of the Great Commission to become fishers of men, to evangelize and win souls? If you would like to become one of his errand girls or boys, we really want to say thank you for coming higher. Rising up to the challenge of the Great Commission. I just pray that the Lord Almighty God, who has brought this message before you, it will touch your hearts. It will make you remember where you were when somebody reached out to you to say, Your life can be better, your life can be changed. There's somebody who loves you unconditionally. Somebody who can make a difference in your life, who can change your life, who can give you eternity. I just pray this afternoon that we'll be one of those in the name of Jesus. Amen. If that is you, welcome higher. Welcome to the higher calling of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The second set of people <clears throat> that I would like to invite are those who have never, ever, ever at any one time in their lives, living their lives to Christ. You have not accepted him as your Lord and your savior, but you would like to take a step of faith to trust the one who laid down his life for you and I. If that is you, please start to ask him to forgive you all your sins. Ask him to cleanse you and purify you and make you only and acceptable unto him. Ask him to, to, to bring you into his kingdom. Hmm. Ask him to enter into your heart, to change your heart. He's the only one that is able to change our heart because he is the manufacturer and he has the spare parts. Ask him to write your name in the book of life so you will not miss out on making eternity. Hallelujah. I have this long prayer prayed but. I'm looking at time and I'm like, this is, it may not even be enough time. But he has created us with unique gifts. He has created us with passion. He has created us with dreams, desires. And I pray that as we recognize our calling, we recognize that it's not just a career, a calling something that we just want to do. But a defined, this a divine assignment designed just for you and you alone. And nobody else can fulfill that assignment except you. So Father, we humbly ask for your wisdom and your discernments to recognize our calling clearly and early and to be able to embrace. We pray for perseverance and resilience. You know, same way you called Abraham out, Abraham and Moses out, and they, they left without knowing what they were going to do, but you called them out and you back them up. I pray that you back your children up and you give us the boldness of David to move forward, even when it looks very, very bad. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Oh, what a moment you have brought me to. Such a freedom, Lord, I have found in you. You're the healer who makes all things new. I'm not going back. I'm moving ahead. I'm there to declare to you. My past is over in you. Things I made new. I surrender my life to Christ. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving forward. Hallelujah. I gave myself away. So you can use me. 
I give myself away. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. You know, for over two decades now, my prayer has been asking God to use me for his glory. I didn't know what I was saying. I'm asking him for men and women to come to him through my life, that they will look at a life that could have been mocked, that could have been a, a, a statistic, that could have been you know, laughed at, and they will say, if this one can be fervent for Christ, with everything that she's been through, then I can serve the same God. That has made my prayer for over 20 years now. For God to use me for his glory, to be a beacon of his light. So when PHH came up, it wasn't a surprise for me. My prayer now is, Father, back me up. Grant me strength. Grant me passion. Increase me in passion. Let my focus be upon you. And I pray that prayer for you too, that your focus will be upon him. So whenever you're called, you may answer. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. If you have given your life to Christ, please reach out to us at PHH on any of our platform that we can share this goal with you and we can, with whatever we know, direct you in the way to go. And please find a Bible-believing church, a Bible-teaching church that is going to help you to abide, not the one that will scare you, not the one that will make you run away, the one that will make you, when you enter there, the Bible, you test, the Bible says to test all spirit. When you get there, listen to what is being preached. Is it the word of God? Is it from the Bible? And whenever even you're taught, you go back to the Bible and double check what you're being, what you're being taught so that you'll not be tossed up and down so that you can abide in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I welcome you all to the household of faith and may your faith abide. May your heart be on Christ in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. What a good God we serve. Hallelujah. You know, when my sister was talking, the one thing she mentioned it though was the gas. I just had that kind of reflection. When you have a gas and it's just standing there, if you don't try to start the gas, the fire won't come out. And she made a, um, she made a valid um, a reason there or a valid word. She said a divine spark for the kingdom of God. So you need that spark. You know, when you just start the gas, it's sparked and then the fire will come up, but you wouldn't know that there's a fire within that gas if it's been left onto when you try to. And when you do that, you'll be able to embrace the calling of God upon your life. And she gave us different steps of which to do that. And I just wanna say congratulations. If you've given your life to Christ, there's no better way that you can ignite that spark within you, or you can embrace your calling if you don't know God. The Bible said that thou may know him and the power of his resurrection. If you don't have a relationship with someone, you cannot know that person. So we're calling you to Christ so that you can know what God is calling you for, and you can embrace that calling upon you. And I pray that if you have accepted Christ, or you have backslided, or you backslided, or you backslided sorry, and that you're coming back to Christ, just open your heart to him and ignite that fire within you and embrace the calling that is God for your life in the name of Jesus. And I just want to pray this prayer before we round up that dear father, we all heartedly welcome our higher calling with open hands. We recognize it as the guiding light that illuminates our path. 
as we embrace this calling, we resolve to live without fear, to be bold and to face any darkness that may come our way courageously. We trust that the flame within us is far more potent than any challenges we encounter. We lift our ignited flame as a source of empowerment and inspiration for others, a beacon reminding them of their divine calling and potential to shine brightly. Father, please help us remember that ignited flame is a call to action, urging us not to merely to bask in his warmth, but to use it to illuminate the way for ourselves and others. We pray for the unwavering strength and, born, and boundless inspiration to ignite the flame within continuously. We embark on this journey to lead us to a purposeful, significant, and profound fulfillment filled life, a life destined for all those who love God and are called according to his purpose. And I just love that prayer because he just summarized everything that my sister mentioned. And we just pray in the name of Jesus that this will be our portion. It will be my portion. It will be your portion. The Lord will ignite that fire within us and we'll be able to know our calling and we'll be able to embrace it and we will not miss it in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Indeed, we serve a good God. And if you've given your life to Christ, we want to welcome you into the kingdom of God. We want to tell you that we are here to support you. You can reach out to us by our different channels. We've got YouTube, we've got um, Twitter, which is now X, I think. And then we've got um, our own webpage, which is um, www.phhword.com. And now we've got another channel on WhatsApp. You can also search us there as well. And we are just going bigger, just to fulfill the calling of God for our lives. We are not proud, but we are humble because the Lord is using us and we want him to use you more so that you too can recognize your calling and appreciate God and embrace it. So if you've worshiped with us today and you've enjoyed this time, we just want to say, indeed, our God has been awesome and we give all the glory to him. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. As I come into your presence, pass a gate of praise into your sanctuary to withstand him face to face. I look upon your countenance, I see the fullness of your grace, and I can wholly bow down. And say, and say, you've been awesome in this place, mighty God. You've been awesome, you've been awesome in this place. Our Father, you are worthy of our praise. To you, our lives we raise. You've been awesome in this place, Almighty God. You've been awesome, you've been awesome in this place, Mighty God. He's been so awesome, you've been awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise, to you our life we raise. You've been awesome in this place. Our God has been awesome in this place. Our God has been awesome in this place. He's been awesome in this place. Almighty God. Yes, our God has been awesome. We just want to thank you for joining us. We love you at PHH, but remember that Christ loves you more. We wanted to help us spread our um our media our um broadcast rather by the different means that we've got just love share and just share with somebody that may need to know their calling and we just pray for you this week that as you go for the lord bless you the lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace and perhaps you don't know your calling perhaps that sparkle inside of you has not been able to ignite the love ignited so that you embrace your calling and you live a purposeful life that the Lord has called you to live in the name of Jesus. We love you and we'll bless the name of God for today. 
And we pray that you will join us next week as well. The same time where God is always waiting for us. And we know that you also experience the mighty power of God. Thank you so much for joining us today. We love you. And indeed, our God has been awesome. Have a wonderful, purposeful, glorious week in the name of Jesus. God bless you. And thank you for joining us in the name of Jesus. He's been awesome. Our God has been awesome. He's been awesome in this place. Almighty God, he's been awesome. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God, you are awesome in this place. Abba Father, you are worthy of our praise. So you are lies we raise. You've been awesome in this place. Almighty God, hallelujah. All glory to our God. We give him all the glory. For he alone is worthy. No one can share the glory with him. Have a wonderful, glorious week. God bless you. See you next week. Bye.